Hello, today we are going to learn about speed. We can travel to Kuala Lumpur by plane or by car. It takes 30 minutes to fly there and 4 hours if you travel by car. Turbo Go, if you are rushing for time, which mode of transport would you take? Well, I would definitely take a plane. It is so much faster. So, what does that tell you about the speed of the two modes of transport? A plane travels at a faster speed than a car. Hence, we can reach Kuala Lumpur earlier if we travel by plane. Good. Teacher, so speed tells us how fast or slow an object is travelling. Yes, it measures the distance travelled per unit time. For example, if a car can cover 50 kilometres in one hour, we say that the speed of the car is 50 kilometres per hour. 50 km slash h is read as 50 kilometers per hour. We will now look at the relationship between distance, speed, and time. Do you know the formula for finding speed? I think speed equals distance divided by time. For example, I took 3 hours to run a 42 kilometer marathon. So, my speed is 42 divided by 3, which is 14 kilometers per hour. Very good. By rearranging this formula, we can also find distance. Turbo Girl, can you tell us the formula to find distance? That's easy. Distance equals speed times time. If a car travels at a speed of 75 km per hour for 2 hours, so the distance travelled by the car is 75 times 2, which is 150 km. Good. We can also find time taken by using the formula. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. You can use this triangle to help you remember the formula easily. Wow, that's great. Teacher, can you show me how to use it? Okay, to find distance, cover distance and we have speed times time. To find speed, cover speed and we have distance divided by time. Turbo go. Can you show us how to find time? Since we are finding time, we cover time. So, we have distance divided by speed. Well done! You have learned that speed can be expressed in kilometers per hour. Turbo Go, do you know other units of measure for speed? I am not too sure, teacher. Well, speed can also be expressed in meters per second. For example, the speed of an elite 100-meter sprinter is about 10 meters per second. This means that he runs at a speed of 10 meters for every second. Thus, he will cover 100 meters in about 10 seconds. Speed can also be expressed in meters per minute. For example, Tony can swim at a speed of 50 meters per minute. This means that he swims at a speed of 50 meters per minute. Therefore, if he swims at the same speed, he can swim 500 meters in 10 minutes. Besides meter per second and meter per minute, we can also use centimeters per second to describe speed. For example, an ant walked 10 centimeters in 5 seconds. In other words, the ant walked at a speed of 2 centimeters per second. We will now learn how to calculate speed, distance and time using the formula that we have learned earlier. Take a look at this. Turbo Girl, can you help us solve the problem? Okay, that's quite easy. I know that speed is distance divided by time. So, we have 4000 kilometers divided by 4 hours which give us a speed of 1,000 km per hour. Well done. Let's look at another example. Can you help me to solve it? Well, let me think. First of all, we need to find the time Mr. Tan spent driving. He started at 9.30 a.m. and stopped at 11.30 a.m. So, the time Mr. Tan spent on driving was 2 hours. To find distance, 
we have distance equals speed times time. Therefore, distance travel equals to 50 kilometers per hour times 2 hours, which is equals to 100 kilometers. Very good. Turbo Go, we have learned that speed is the distance traveled per unit time. Now, tell me what is Xiaoming's walking speed in meters per minute. Hmm, Xiaoming walked 80 meter for the first minute. So, I can say his walking speed is 80 meter per minute. But, he also walked 60 meter for the second minute. So, his walking speed is 60 meters per minute? Oh, I'm very confused. Which is his walking speed? Both of them are correct. They are Xiaoming's walking speed at different time. To make it clear, I will need you to calculate his average speed. Average speed? What is it? It is the average distance traveled per unit time. We have a formula for it. That is, average speed equals total distance divided by total time. Okay, I see. Now I know how to find out Xiaoming's average speed in meter per minute. The total distance he walked is 80 meters plus 60 meters, that's 140 meters. The total time he walked is 2 minutes. So, his average speed is 140 meters divided by 2 minutes. The answer is 70 meters per minute. Clever go! Let's summarize the lesson. Speed can be expressed in several units. Kilometers per hour, meters per minute, and meters per second being the most commonly used. There are also other less commonly used expressions for speed, like kilometers per minute, meters per hour, kilometers per second, and centimeter per second. How are distance, speed, and time related, Tobogo? Speed is distance divided by time. Distance is speed multiplied by time. Time is distance divided by speed. Well done. We can make use of this triangle to help us remember the three formula. How about average speed, Tobogo? Average speed is the average distance traveled per unit time. Average speed equals the total distance divided by total time. Very good, Tobogo. We shall end here today. Goodbye.